Welcome to the Cots Academy. We are going to today to find, learn how to find the vertical and horizontal components of the initial velocity vector of a projectile launched at an angle. Let's take a look at an example here. Uh, we have a problem that says a projectile is launched at an initial velocity of 25 meters per second at a 40 degree angle to the horizontal. Okay. Now, right now I don't care what else they're going to ask me about this projectile. I'm just going to look at how to find the initial velocity components. So let's start off with the diagram. And the diagram would be of this initial velocity vector. We have a ball or something, which is starting off at level ground. Here's the ball. And we've been told that it has an initial velocity of 25 meters per second. So I'm going to draw an initial velocity vector. And I'll label this as 25 meters per second. That's the magnitude of the vector. And that is at an angle to the horizontal. So a long horizontal reference line right to the tail of the vector. This is horizontal. And the angle, which we always label with the symbol theta, is 40 degrees. All right, and we want to find the components of that vector. I'll start by drawing them. And to do this, I treat the initial vector as a hypotenuse of a right triangle. I'm going to draw on the legs. So I'll drop a line straight down to the reference line and draw another one straight across. So I create a right triangle. And this vector goes to the right and up. So the components go to the right and up. This component I will label, label VIX. So I'm using X for horizontal and V, I, Y for the vertical component. And this goes in line with the normal X and Y axes, which we would use in math class. X points to the right, that's horizontal. Y points up, that's vertical. All right, I want to be able to find the magnitudes of these two components. I do that using sine and cosine. I remember that sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite leg is VIY, and the hypotenuse is VI. So I can write this as sine theta is equal to opposite VIY over hypotenuse VI. I'm looking for VIY, and so I'm going to see through this for VIY. If you're doing this as a problem, uh, you can actually start oops, by not drawing through there. You can actually start with this formula right here, and you can start the solution right there. You can, you can, you don't have to do the C2 every time. All right, so let's find VIY. VIY is equal to VI, 25 meters per second, times sine of 40 degrees. Calculator, and I have 25 times sine of 40 degrees. So on this calculator, I type in 40 and then press the sine button. There's sine of 40 degrees is 0.64 blah blah blah, and I hit equals to find out what I get when I multiply them. And with barely enough significant figures, I have v i y is equal to again. 16.1 is rounded enough. 16.1 meters per second. Okay, that's the vertical component. And if I were to label it up on the diagram, that's the vertical component of 16.1 meters per second. The other one is the horizontal. So let's do that. To find horizontal, I use cosine. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's back up here. 
this is the adjacent side to the angle, is the IX, the horizontal component. So this formula becomes cosine theta equals adjacent VIX over VI. If I see through that for VIX, multiplying each side by VI, I get VIX equals VI times cosine of theta. Once again, this can be your starting point, so I'll make a note that this formula and this formula is where you can start when you show your work for finding the components of the velocity vector. All right, let's plug in the values and see what we get. I have V, we'll do that not using stars. Okay, I have VIX equal to 25 meters per second times cosine of 40 degrees. Put the calculator back out, and I have 25 times cosine of 40 degrees, which is 0.766, and I get 19.2. So I have VIX is equal to 19.2 meters per second. And I can go back up and look at my diagram. VIX is equal to 19.2 meters per second. And there we have it. Components of the initial velocity of a projectile.